So the return battle then underway, undisputed world middleweight championship. Marvin Hagland, nine defenses. And Hamsho, tough as old boots in many ways, outpointed Alan Minter in an eliminator to first fight Hagler, but he was stopped in 11 rounds in a really bruising battle at Richfield near Chicago, which I saw. And they're trying to say that uh, Hamcho now can improve on that uh, score. I'm not sure that he can. We'll soon find out. You can't really teach an old dog new tricks. He's brought in Al Savani, one of the most experienced, over 70 years old trainer. He says he's going to try and bob and weave, get inside the long arms of the Southport Hagler. But he really is one of the all-time great champions. He always just does what he wants to win. He doesn't always get involved as much as people would like him to, Hagler. He didn't in the Roberto Duran fight. But unbeaten for eight years, takes a bit of doing. And he's uh, not very keen on that, Hagler. He doesn't want to be pulled onto punches. He's known for his rough tactics, Hamcho. learned his boxing of course in America Hamcho he's just recently become an American citizen he jumped ship to get here and had to be taken to Canada to come back again legally and in fact he's uh, was a guest of one of Her Majesty's prisons for a few days when he was 17 he did the same thing in England tried to jump ship and stay there Immaculately turned out for this fight, Hagler. And, uh, he says, I'm not taking it easy with this fellow. I feel very mean, very serious, he said before the fight. I often wonder whether world champions suddenly sort of run out of ambition. He wanted badly to fight Tommy Hearns to make really big money. Hearns is here with us at ringside. But this was the official challenger ham show. And uh, we've got to wait until after the fight to see whether the World Boxing Council are going to withdraw their recognition. But in any case, it's for the World Boxing Association and the International Boxing Federation Championships. 15 rounds. And certainly judging from the first fight, Hamsho boxing with a little bit more caution. And maybe he's been listening to the new training tactics. He normally fights with his face a bit too much. Hagler's not going to like this if it's roughed up. He's, he's already appealing to the referee and he's talking back there to Hamsho. Stop holding. He should have his mind on other business. Let the referee take care of that. And now Al Serto's having a row with the, the referee, Arthur McCanty, saying stop listening to what Hagler's telling you. Hagler definitely, he's up. Al Cerdo, the manager of Hamcho, is asking to talk to the commissioner. He wants to stop that Hagler's talking to Hamcho. He's claiming he's been butted. Let's have a look at replay. You see, they're both bumping heads there. And that's where the objections came. Let's have a look at the overhead camera. It was Hamcho who came in first with his head. He looks like he's caught his own cut. So the New York referee, Arthur McCanty, got a job on his hands here. It's getting a bit ill-tempered after only one round. So now let's see if in the second things quieten down a bit. I don't think they will. First round was, was fairly close, really. There wasn't too much going on. I suppose you could say Hagler might have stolen it, but that was about all. There are cynics in the fight game. I've often said that Hagler's strictly a front runner. He likes things his own way. Well, so far he's had most things his own way. One of the unusual things, we've got a lady judge here tonight, Eva Shane. Three judges vote, the referee doesn't in the WBA. And the three knockdown rule is in effect, it means if any one boxer goes down three times in one round, it'll stop. Oh, and at that point, 
when he stood square on and tried to slug it out Hamcho he almost paid the penalty for that because Hagler picks good punches when he's counting Hamcho's unbeaten since he last lost to this champion decision over Wilfredo Benitez and knocked uh, Bobby Chairs off the chairs off the pedestal he looked like being a good fighter so he really deserved the number one spot but he's quite badly cut it looks as though it's on the top of the nose the corner of the eye Hamcho definitely going to be a rough one the heads are getting a bit rough and uh, McCanty reminding him of it I'm not sure it's, it's more of the style of their fighting than really being deliberate I suspect because last time they were both cut badly Hamshaw obviously worse than Hagler but Hagler had quite a few stitches which is very unusual oh referee risking it a bit as he goes in there they're not, they're not breaking on command. He looks as though he's got to physically do it. The leading right-hand punch. That's, that's uh, Hagler's really chief one. He's, he looks as though he might be out of distance, but he isn't. He's got deceptively long arms. crowd echoed that one they knew that that right hook right above our commentary position there caught Hamso on the chin so you can just see some blood smeared there in the replay on the ham and that was the right hook that the crowd rose to we're into the third round and it looks to me like a repeat of their first fight where it's going to be all bruise and battle and swing and hope from this strong fella Mustafa Hamsho and uh, Hagler trying to outsmart him and obviously outpunch him. Bit of shoving with the shoulder there. Oh, and the head. Oh, that was a bit obvious. He'd, 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 do, he'd get a good transfer for a centre forward for a team that needs one. Bit unusual if we saw a disqualification in a championship fight. Hagler would like to keep this fight at long range. He doesn't want to get... You see, that's where he's so good, with the longer punches anyway. And getting inside with body fighting, well, that's Hamshow's turf. Stop holding, Hamshow! Well, this ring's pitched on the ice rink at Madison Square Garden, but it'll take a lot more than that to cool this one down. Stop holding and hitting! Stop holding and hitting, says McCanty. Hasn't got much style, Hamcho, but he's a, he's a wearing down fighter, but the right hand right on the chin there. He softened him up earlier with that one. The toughness is not being related to winning as far as Hamcho's concerned. He looks as in trouble. It's seven, eight. He's making it clear. He's getting the mandatory eight, but he is definitely in a lot of trouble here, Hamcho, and Hagler can do it in the third. So all the pre-fight tactics haven't really paid off. He's got to get in there and try and slug it out. Hopefully take the play away a bit from Hagler now. But I doubt if he can do it. Almost losing his trunks too. If Hagler picks his punches now, actually pot shots. He can't miss Hagler. Hamsho, I should say. Just on instinct now. Hamsho, it's all he's doing. It. He went 11 rounds last time, but he won't be able to do it here, I don't think. He's floundering. Oh, and the right hand again. There was almost a delay as he went down. Al Serto, the manager, says no more. He's in there. A compassionate act there by the manager. And the referee couldn't understand why he came in. But I hand that to Al Serto to get in the ring because he could see Hampshire had had it. And that's one of the most complete victories, really, for, for Marvin Hagler. No wonder he officially calls himself Marvellous Marvin.